Now, here are your latest headlines and updated Kansas City forecast from KSHB 41 News. I'm Caitlin Canoe with KSHB 41 News. Here are your headlines this Tuesday, January 11th. The Kansas City Public School District is now fully accredited. Today's decision means the Department of Elementary and Secondary Education believes the district, after 22 years, now meets standards in academic growth, graduation rates, district leadership, financial condition, and its strategic plan, among other factors. It's an encouraging sign for parents. Well, there's no doubt that they're getting a quality education, um, but it's just one of those stamps that you just kind of need as they go forward in life, apply to college, and they can always look back and say that, you know, we had everything that was needed in regards to education. Being unaccredited also hurt the school district financially. The previous status allowed families to send their child to a different district, and as the unaccredited school district, KCPS had to pay their tuition. How even However, even after receiving full accreditation now, KCPS leaders say there's still a long road ahead. The district does have plans to rebuild its athletic and fine arts programs and close gaps between students. Dr. Mark Bedell also talked about a strategic plan called Blueprint 2030. The district sees this as an opportunity to become more efficient while reimagining teaching and learning. Now here's Jeff Penner with the forecast. Thanks, Kayla. Now Wednesday, 56 degrees starting out at 32, a lot less wind than we had on Tuesday, so just a few degrees cooler, but even nicer without the wind. 53 Thursday, not a bad day. Clouding up Friday, a chance of rain and snow by Friday evening. Changing to snow, could be accumulating snow later Friday night and Saturday. We'll be updating that as we get closer to it. And it looks cold for the Chiefs game. The storm should be gone. And if there's snow on the ground, it could be colder than what we're saying. But right now we'll go 27 for the high, 20s and teens during the game. And then next week looks dry with temperatures more seasonable for January.